Hi, good morning everyone. I the reason why that I have brought you to this video is that we I have found a family photo that is either a genie or an apparition in front of the person in my family video uh, family uh, portrait uh, of and I'll show you real quick and you be the judge. Okay, here I've got a photo and you can tell that it is you somewhat transparent you can see that the wall the chairs are there there's also uh, a pot of food on a pot holder on the table because of the plastic if that is a pan maybe but what is that on top of there and I'll show you the reason why and I, and I looked I, in between the pieces it is not there that is see-through at that point. So that is white and see-through right there at the top. Not across here. It's only see-through transparent right across there. And probably up there and there. Transparent. But that means look at the shadow as well. Do you see that? As I shine through here, do you see the, the things that I see in this photo? I have some haunting things, and I'm going to ask Peyton and um, them to come and do a video um, recording and also set up the ram pod and things of that sort to at least find out if there is anything here before um, before I go any further with the house remodeling and things of that sort because I don't want to stir anything that's going to be you know bad because uh, I've already had some things so you tell me what do you think that could be um, I thought about sending the photo to Patty the G team I thought about sending them just to find out if they could if they could ask a spirit or ask something what could that have been if it's destruction of a photo then fine the black part of it over the chair and back to the side it's just a little strange that there is nothing else problematic in this photo except for the illusions that you see on it. There's supposed to be a person and there's supposed to be a table. That's the only thing I can see as you see. Now, I found it like this. So somebody else in my family before they died found it like this. It was my grandmother's photo, I'm sure. But I'm sure she looked at it the same way. If you can tell me what that is, that would be great. Um, also, I wanted to go into... I... Um, been thinking about selling and paying my debts off and moving but I want to go up north where it's cooler after my health is gets better um, I my, my brother and I are the ones that's going to have to be able to sell it together um, because of the way it's situated and we've got to do the will first before we can even do that but oh what money anyway um and the taxes on that i just don't want to deal with it i don't think um i bet any rate i i i definitely want it to move because it's too hot here and the my my it just it's just i don't like it i i would rather move somewhere else where i have friends here I just don't and well no I've never had friends here as long as I've lived here and I was born and raised here and I really never had good friends that I trusted uh, when I lived in Utah I did when I lived in Wyoming I did but not here and every person I have trusted has really went back on me and done me dirty so or disrespected me or lied to me or you know, stole from me, or whatever it is, something's always happened that I don't like. Um, 
to the point that it takes it out of my check. Um, I, I did not go and I wasn't able to stand up to testify against my, um, a, a, the person who sexually assaulted me, the Lyft driver, but they're going to try for a, um, instead of a felony, they're going to try for a misdemeanor. They told me I had three years to, you know, go with the felony, and so I may do that after I get the strength and the mind and the courage. I started on some, uh, a new, uh, um, my medication went up by uh, uh, five milligrams or ten milligrams, ten milligrams, and um, I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, I finally slept really good last night, except for a couple of times this morning waking up. But I slept longer than I have been. Um, so, uh, but I mean, it's managing my anxiety, I think, maybe. Um, Xanax has not been one of the things, I mean, she, my mom was addicted to it, so it's not one of my favorite things, but if it helps, it helps. And sometimes when you lose your mother and your husband and you get raped within four years, it's sometimes it's overwhelming. So, um, and I'm not seeing a therapist or psychiatrist right now, so um, it's, and I haven't in, in four years. Um, I've been handling it on my own without anybody to talk to. And so this is my only outlet. Um, I am living in a home right now that I was raised in since 18 months old. And I went through a lot of my mother's um, problems, abuse, um, and their husband, her husband's abuses on me. Um, I, you know, I've had a really, really, really hard life. The positive thing is, is that I'm a survivor. I've been a survivor, and, you know, uh, I think that, uh, Hank Williams Jr. said it best, country folks will survive. Well, I am a country boy. Not a redneck, a country boy. My grandmother was my maternal uh, mother, um, and I was learned. I learned to love, not fight. I learned to let somebody else take care of the situation. And when I try to take care of the situation, I always mess up. I have the mind of a, of a young teenager. Like they don't, they can't specifically tell me what age I am mentally, but that the the decisions that I make sometimes are not of an adult. The things that I think sometimes are not of an adult. But it's sometimes because I excel in some of my other things, but I've done that because of living out in the world. The reason why I don't show my face anymore is because um, I'm not happy with it. Um, my self-image has definitely took a toll. I probably gained a good hundred pounds in three and four months, um, I've fed that empty, scared, young kid, you know, inside me, the, um, the, uh, without a, a spouse, it's been difficult, I understand Patty and the G team, because, uh, she's lost a spouse and a son, I've lost a mother and my husband, so I totally understand that. Um, loss is, is so hard to deal with. It took 10 years for me to be able to come to grips and be okay with my grandmother's death. So my mother's death, I'm still in a fog. And the rape and my broken nose, I'm still dealing with the broken nose. I would, They broke, first off, Two years ago, I was in a mental in a hospital being evaluated, and a guy came in and popped me in the face and broke the bridge of my nose. Cracked it straight across, and also cracked the corner of my right eye inside. Then I got raped, and the cartilage, all the cartilage, all the bone on, on the top of my nose is completely crushed. 
gone. All I have is fatty tissue hanging. All I have is just this tissue and the, and the fat hanging on my face. It looks like a normal nose. Don't get me wrong. I'll show you. See? It's a normal nose. It ain't a pug nose anymore like I used to have, like my mom. But it is a nose. Um, and uh, to, to suggest that anything else, I don't know. There, I, 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 I'm petrified because I'm not sure what was said in the cab with that situation at the light. I know I said something to the effect that, you know, I liked my boyfriend's uh, penis. And the man said something and I said, yeah, okay. And I thought he said something about, um, is your boyfriend home or is it? I don't know what was said. And I'm just guessing because I don't know what he said. I just said yes. When we got to the house, obviously, whatever I said yes to, um, I tried to get out of, and when I tried to get out of it, that's when he said, no, finish, and he pulled my head into him. I lost my balance within the seat, and together with him pulling and me losing my balance, it broke my nose into his pelvis bone. Um, I wasn't happy. So, I don't leave home anymore, but I wished I could, but I don't think I want to do it here. I really need to move. I would like to move and get away from here and start over. This is not becoming, this isn't, I'm, I'm going to turn 45 June 22nd and I don't want to do this. But anyway, so it, yeah, I thought it would be a good idea if I had my friends over. A, a, well, I say friends, uh, YouTubers that are in local radius to come over who have the the uh, equipment to come over and do an investigation. And I'm going to ask them if they will, um, hoping, you know, I'm crossing my fingers they, that they will. Um, I hope that you have looked at the picture and you give me some ideas. Please comment. Let me know in the comments um, what you think this could be what do you think so let me know